And developing tonight, revoking emergency powers. New York State legislators taking new steps to try and strip Governor Andrew Cuomo of his temporary powers given to him at the start of the pandemic, bringing new calls for the embattled governor's resignation. Thanks for being with us on this Friday night. I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Rudy Beshabarzi. Marnie has the night off. This all comes after new allegations. Top aides to Governor Andrew Cuomo allegedly rewrote a report to hide the number of deaths in state nursing homes during during the COVID-19 pandemic. That's according to reports in both the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. Cuomo is also accused of sexually harassing two women who worked for him and behaving inappropriately toward a third. News Nation correspondent Tom Negevin is live outside the governor's Manhattan office with the latest. Tom. That's right, Ruta Bay and Rob stripped of his emergency powers just months after being lauded nationwide as a hero of the COVID pandemic for his work flattening the curve. Now Governor Andrew Cuomo facing the greatest challenge of his political career. At the New York State Capitol, a hard push to take away emergency powers given to Andrew Cuomo exactly a year ago in the early days of the pandemic. I no longer trust, if I ever did really, that the governor will handle these extraordinary powers well. A deepening political crisis, a governor accused of sexual harassment, of bullying political opponents, and of mishandling the COVID pandemic in state nursing homes. In January, New York's attorney general alleged the Cuomo administration had underreported nursing home deaths by about 50%. State officials insisted then that they'd been transparent. I would argue at this point, New York puts out more data on deaths than any other state. Later admitting some data had been withheld intentionally because of a federal investigation by the then Trump Department of Justice. Now new reporting in both the Wall Street Journal and New York Times suggesting a deliberate effort to hide how many nursing home residents had died of COVID-19. I now understand that I acted in a way that made people feel uncomfortable. It was unintentional, and I truly and deeply apologize for it. In his last public appearance Wednesday, Andrew Cuomo was apologizing for multiple allegations of improper conduct. 33-year-old Anna Rush says the governor placed his hands on her at a wedding in 2019, asked if he could kiss her, a fellow guest snapping a photo. And two former staffers accused the 63-year-old of sexual harassment, 36-year-old Lindsay Boylan and 25-year-old Charlotte Bennett, who claims the governor asked about her sex life, telling the CBS Evening News she believed he was propositioning her for an affair. I thought he's trying to sleep with me. The governor's trying to sleep with me. And I'm deeply uncomfortable. There will be an investigation, an independent one. It's being arranged right now into those allegations of sexual harassment that's being set up by the state attorney general. There will also be or is an investigation underway into the state's management of the nursing home crisis here and the numbers. And there is new word tonight that more staffers are leaving the Cuomo administration, two more, both female. Live in Manhattan, Tom Negevin, News Nation.